Hi guys, what's up it's Bella, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're brand new, don't forget to like this video, subscribe and click that bell and follow my TikTok and Instagram that are on the screen right now to keep up to date with me. Obviously by the title of this video we have a closet tour, what a majestic word. I spend half the time in my closet trying to figure out fits, all that fun stuff. I make a lot of fits on TikTok, also on Instagram, so if you're not following me over there, be sure to follow me. As someone who's highly into fashion and this is like what my daily world revolves around, I'm always in this area. I'm going to be talking about organization tips and kind of just showing you guys how I personally like to have my closet, what's easiest for me, and yeah. If I say anything is going to be linked down below, be sure to check it out in the description box. Without further ado, let's get started on my closet tour. So I'm first going to start over here in this little corner of my closet. So. Over here I have bodysuits. This is something that I feel like for me is not a priority in my closet at this moment. At this moment in life I'm really into crop tops, a little bit of stummy showing, so I just don't really wear bodysuits as much, but bodysuits are an essential. It's something I will never get rid of and I will always have in my closet forever, and so I'm going to keep them. They're just not going to be like straight in my eyesight when I open my closet. I have two little Prada purses back here hanging on this wooden thing just because they fit, but those are just back there in the corner. I do typically go for those Prada purses like on a daily basis, so I like to have them out. So one of my tips for saving a lot of space in your closet, if you have bodysuits that are the same style, be sure to hang them on one hanger. I find that it holds so much more room in your closet and it's just super helpful. These are all the same style by Skims, just different colors. So I put them on one hanger and I'm good to go. So after all these bodysuits right here in this corner, you move on to graphic tees. Something I actually tend to wear a lot. I'll show you guys a few of the ones that I have. I have these two from Kanye West, which are super cool. I love this one. I love this Bible verse. Here's a few more like random ones that I have in here, just for reference. I love being able to have graphic tees and arms length because I do wear them a lot. So I like to have them over here in this corner. It's not something I wear on a daily basis, but I do, like I said, like to have them, you know, up in the front so I'm able to see them and they're a quick, easy grab. So right beside graphic tees, you're going to find some long sleeves. I am absolutely obsessed with this one. I wore it in my spring trend video. It's by Motel Rocks. Love it so much. You guys should definitely pick it up. It's absolutely adorable. I also have a few printed ones. So there's this one and then there's this one. This has got to be my favorite printed one, although sadly it's from Shein, but it's my favorite printed top that I have. And then I have this one from Shop Colorful Natalie. Right now where I live, it does get a little bit chilly at this time of the year. So I just like to have these out because I like to wear these with baggy jeans and this just be the full on top that kind of like makes it as my jacket and my top because it is long sleeve. So I like to have these out right now. But eventually when the summer comes, I will end up moving this over here and I'll kind of prioritize other things that I'm going to be wearing in this certain season in the middle of my closet. Crop tops are an all year round thing for me. I don't know about y'all, but for me, I just wear them all the time. Literally wearing one right now. So I just like to have my crop tops up here. I don't really have a certain coloring going on right now. I kind of messed it up. My brother's girlfriend color coordinated in my whole closet and just throughout the past few weeks, I've totally messed it up, but I'm gonna get it right and back together, I promise. So yeah, I just have crop tops here, little tanks. These are from Princess Polly. I have some from The Crypt. I have this custom one from Shop Colorful Natalie. I love this one, it's like a corset. It's so cute. Like I said, I wear crop tops all the time. So honestly, having them out front and center is super nice for me and super, super good. So that's everything in this little corner. This is on the left of my closet right when you walk in. So we're going to hit the top little section of this side. So up here in this corner, I just have my Gucci boots, which are like seasonal. So I don't really have them out right now. I have two Nike boxes of just recent shoes that I've gotten. And then the red box up there is actually a extra box with a bunch of laces in them. So every single pair of shoes that I have, like sneakers that have extra laces, I'll pop them in that little box. So I have everything really coordinated and super organized. I actually just recently added these two amazing little bins to my closet. So I'm excited to show you guys what they look like and what's in them. If I can get them down, they're a little heavy. <laughs> so I don't really know where these are from. I wanna say Home Goods, probably where my mom got them. But y'all know I am a purse queen, so all of my purses are in here. So actually at first, when I moved into my closet in my whole new room, I had them just kind of like filed up here and it looked so horrible and unorganized. And every time I went to reach for one, all of them would fall and I was like, I have to find a way to fix this. So my mom had these extra little bins that she had just purchased. So yeah, I put all my designer bags in here. If you guys want like a designer purse collection, let me know, I'll be more than happy to do that for you guys. But I just have like this off-white bag in here, my Balenciaga bag, 
I have some Gucci bags in here, Louis, just honestly, random bags. I have a little Supreme bag. So these are all like my smaller, kind of condensed purses that I wear slash use on an everyday basis. And then in this big one, we've got more. So this one has just this purse that I got a few years back for Christmas, my Louis Neverfull, my Louis backpack, and then just some reusable Lululemon bags I like to keep in here for when I go to the beach and I need like a disposable beach bag. I'll just put that in here. One of my favorite ways for organizing a closet that doesn't come with organization like drawers already in it is getting your own, making sure they have handles and being able to store them on this top rack. That's been a game changer for me. I just love having these up here. I was gonna you know, put command hooks on my doors and then put them, hang them from that or hang them on hangers, but having them up here is so much more useful, I guess. Okay, so moving on to right here, I just have shorts, honestly. I don't even know if Happy sent me because your girl has grown a dump truck this past little season. So we'll see if they fit me, but I just have shorts right here. I live in Florida. I live at the beach. I'm literally like 0.2 miles from the beach. So having shorts out for me all the time is essential, but I'm still really wearing a lot more pants right now. Hence the bottoms I got on. I almost fell there. I would say my favorite pair of shorts are these from IMG. I've had these for quite a bit of time. The little tag came off because I'm an idiot. When I pulled the tag off that had the price on it, I pulled the stitching off. So love that for me. But I've had these for like two and a half years and I've gotten so much use out of these. I love them. And then I just have some random shorts here. This is my favorite section of my closet and it goes to my jeans and my pants. I have a styling video coming up very soon, so be sure to stay tuned for that. So I kind of have this color coordinated just a little, so I have neutrals over here. So I just have these pants from Jaded London, Misguided, 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 The Crypt, Motel Rocks, Shein, and then that is like my brown section. And then I have pink, so I just have these from Princess Polly. These are from Adika. These are from Dolls Kill like three years ago. And then I have my denim. So I tried doing my denim from like lightest to darkest, but kind of didn't work. So I have like printed denim in here, I have light denim, I have denim with holes, denim with tie dye, kind of everything. I've got some blue little Palooza pants in here from Misguided that I have not worn yet. <laughs> and then it kind of just moves into like black and white. So I have these zebra pants, and then I have like these leather pants from Princess Polly, and then I have black patchwork jeans, and then we're here at the end of my closet where I keep dresses because I don't wear dresses too much. I'm gonna do my best to get more into dresses. I really do love them, but it's not like my first thing that I gravitate towards. But when I wear them, I'm like, oh, I love the way this feels. I love the way I styled it. So I don't know if you guys have that one thing too that like you love, but like you don't wear it as much. But when you wear it, you're like, oh, I love this. So yeah, dresses are back here because I don't really wear them too often. And then I also have really big puffy jackets back here. And then the last thing is my jewelry organizer. So I already showed you guys what's over here and what's in these bins, but up here that is all folded, some of it is kind of folded horribly. I'm sure I have to jump up there to put stuff up there here, but I have just had like sweatsuits, hoodies, sweatpants. It just depends on the weather here in Florida, what I'll be wearing. So I just kind of keep everything folded up here because it's too bulky to keep in drawers. And that concludes this whole rack up here. And then also this whole top rack up here of my closet tour. So let's go to the bottom now. Okay, I'm literally on my knees right now so I can talk to you guys face to face. So in my Michael's little drawer over here in this corner, I have underwear and socks and kind of just miscellaneous things that I have in my closet. I don't wear underwear on a daily basis. I wear leggings a lot. I find that it's not good for me to wear underwear on a daily basis. Everyone's different. So I like to keep my underwear in here. I keep like things here at the top, my phones and stuff, and then like my nighttime undies and socks down here. I'm gonna take you guys off the tripod so you guys can see this a little bit better. Okay, I feel like this is a much better look. So up here I just have thongs and then I have nighttime undies and then I have socks and then I have bralettes and then in here we've got some masks because COVID, hair stuff like hair bands, hair ties, stuff like that. This next one I just have like my extra wallet, just some perfume, randomness, got some gift cards and then this little Louis thing for my purse and then my Gucci belt in here sunglasses and more sunglasses. So all the stuff that I keep in here is kind of things that like I need in my life, but it's not something I need need out. So I like to keep it tucked away in the corner of my closet. Under it, I just have a pair of slides that I used to use as my shower shoes in college. And then I have a pair of Balenciagas that doesn't fit in my shoe rack. Then I have my Nike Reacts that I wear every single day when I work out. 
Okay, and this probably looks familiar to most of you. I just did a sneaker collection. So I tried on every single pair of sneakers that I have. They're all linked in the description box of my sneaker collection video. And yeah, I tried them all on for you and talked about them and just kind of, you know, gave a whole little insight of that. And what's super cool is I also just posted a how to start your sneaker collection video. So be sure to check that out as well. Both are gonna be linked down below in the description box. So these organizers are from Target, absolutely my favorite. They were so easy to put together. So it's just actually four of them. They come with like two like little shelves. Just stack them on top and now I have eight of them and I love it. And when I say eight, I mean like eight shelves. This is another favorite organization tip. I think that it saves so much more space rather than having all of your sneakers kind of laid out. Give or take a few pair that did not fit. It's okay because I'm always building my sneaker collection. So the worst thing that is gonna happen is I'm gonna have like a full row right here, but I still have plenty of room to get in my closet. But yeah, this is great. If you have a more open closet, you're able to just stack these and put all your shoes on it no matter what they are. High tops do only fit at the top though. All right, you guys, that is it for my full closet tour. I will link all of the like storage items I can down below, like the Target shoe organizers. If I can find something similar to these, I will link them. And then my Michael's little eight drawer. Like I said, be sure to check out my sneaker collection and then also my how to start your sneaker collection video. I love you guys so much. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Okay, so my quote of the day is, it's not your job to be everything to everyone. I think a lot of the times we get caught up in pleasing everybody, but it's not your job to provide every single thing that this person ever needs to them. That is the most unique thing about being a human. We all offer different things. We all have different talents, different gifts that God has given us. So, you know, you can't always be everything that everyone wants, everything that that one person needs. You have to kind of give and take and you have to kind of highlight the best features about yourself and they're just gonna have to suck it up and live with it. And if they love you, they will. I love y'all so much, and I'll see you guys in my very next video. Mwah. Bye, guys. I actually really enjoy, like, standing up and filming. It's kind of cool.